Look at these things. This is gonna be a fun video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I've got the Srix and ZX5 and ZX7 irons with me today, the Mach 2 new for 2023. ZX7 and ZX5 were incredible in their first release. I cannot put into words how successful they were. Strixen wasn't usually renowned for being such a pure solid iron, but the ZX7 and ZX5 pushed them to the top. Through word of mouth, social media, the ZX5s and ZX7 really became a staple on pure solid buttery irons. You could even compare them to Mura. I know I shouldn't say that. The ZX7 iron that you can see here was in quite a lot of PGA Tour players' bags and they've done a lot of good stuff with them. I'm gonna review both of these today because with the little changes that Strixen have done for the Mach 2s, they're now very similar. And it would almost seem wrong not to put them in a combo set, don't you think? They've taken the red out of the ZX range. There's also the ZX4s, which will come in a later video, but it's now a little bit more of a minimal color scheme. Just a bit of black, a bit of gray. It really looks like a JDM iron, which is a really good thing. The Tor VT sole, which is in the, all the ZX irons, you can really see it this year. And this is something that Srixen pride themselves on and other brands have almost tried to copy it because of how good it is with the turf interaction. This is why those irons are so popular in Tor because the way in which these go through the turf isn't really like any other iron. Let's hit the ZX5s first. The ZX5s are more of the player's distance iron. The lofts are still pretty conservative with a six iron coming in at 27 degrees, which is what I have in my hands today. Not too much difference of the ZX7s actually, only about two or one degrees different throughout the set. Now the ZX5s are a little bit more compact than last year. The main difference in terms of technology is this mainframe. Mainframe is basically a variable thickness pattern of grooves and cavities, which is milled into the backside of this iron. This maximizes flex at impact and also increases the COR. So more in terms of distance than forgiveness, but it is supposed to be improved sound and feel, which I think will be difficult because of how good the ZX5s and ZX7s were last year. Where's that golf ball I just hit? Let's have a look if it's actually better feeling, shall we? It's a good start. God, it feels good. So 27 degrees for a six iron isn't that strong. It's still I mean, pretty strong in the player's distance category. So you are gonna get some pretty increased numbers as you can see there, 212 yards carry. Spins a little bit low. I'm expecting that because of the shaft that I've got today. Ball goes far. Yeah, look at that one. We're getting pretty consistent now in terms of these numbers. In terms of if I'm comparing this to the ZX7, let me just get it. Yeah, these two right here, looking down at that them, what I can notice with the ZX5 is there's a little bit more behind the ball, but it's still fairly conservative for a player's distance iron. You can see a little bit of the actual sole behind it, depending on where you're actually positioned the club. So it is, I wouldn't say it's chunky at all, but it is going towards some irons like the Paradigm P790 or so, a very good comparison for this one, but I think it trumps it in feel. ZX7, I mean, there's not that much difference this year. ZX7's a little bit more of a, it's not a blade, definitely not. It's still got a little bit a little bit there. Turned it over a little, but nothing too drastic. The good, really good numbers again, apart from that spins a little bit low, but you're getting what I think is a very, and I've used this word before and trust me, I hate using this word, but what you're getting is quite a, a buttery feel at impact. And what I like about the ZX5 Mach 2 is across the face, it's quite a solid buttery feel. I think as we go over to the ZX7 Mach 2, that will subside a little bit and it will more be right out of the sweet spot because I've heard they're not very forgiving. But the ZX5s are definitely something that looks good and feels good. Did I do it? I think I just hit dead straight, right? It's gone miles as well. Look how far it's going. Now spins a little bit better there now, up to about 5,000, which isn't too bad. And okay, I hit a fade, so sorry, but it's something that through the turf, so I know I'm hitting inside here at uh, Grace Golf, one of the best fitting venues in the UK, but when I'm hitting it through the turf, it's almost like you can't really feel it when it's going through, which some people might say, hang on, you don't want that. No, it, it's, it's almost so fluid through it all. That buttery feel is something that you wanna keep on hitting. There's a reason why I fell in love with the ZX7s and ZX5s, the Mach 1 version. And we can see here the average is not actually as bad as I thought with that spin at about 4,600, but these are players distance. You can see 137.6 mile an hour ball speed for a six iron is uh, speedy. And then with carry at 208, descent angle is actually pretty good as well. So it's, even though it is low spilling, you're still gonna get that stopping on a green. Dispersion though is a little bit rubbish. So maybe a shaft change would be the best one for me. 
But what I really like about all these numbers here is they are very consistent. They weren't all straight out the middle, but you could see that ball speed is holding very firm. Only about, what is that, a six, not even that mile an hour difference in, in ball speed and launch angle fairly similar despite me hitting it all over the face. I really mean that. It was kind of out here and also towards the toe, which is probably why there's a bit of, little bit of low spin as well. The ZX7s, however, slightly different story. These are more for the better player, verging on P770s, 7MCs, things like that. But the lofts are slightly stronger than them. So you are going to get, for the faster players like me, maybe a little bit too far. So probably weaken those if you go to a fitting. What we've got in the ZX7 Mot 2 irons is pure frame, which is supposed to enhance the feel at impact by reducing vibrations. This is just in the ZX7's Mach 2. They are still quite a compact club, but as I said, the lofts are pretty strong. 32 degrees for a seven iron, 28 degrees for a six iron, which is what I've got in my hand. That is stronger than the P770s and things like that. So they will go very far. I'm probably gonna get about mid 130s, 136 or so ball speed with this. I'm expecting to feel good when I hit these, mainly out of the middle of the club face, because I remember the ZX7s were great at the middle, but they gave you quite a lot of feedback. But still went a pretty good distance. Take my money, Srixen, take my money. Wow. In terms of reducing vibration, I could, still, I could feel a little bit of vibration on the, um, on the butt end of the club there. And that wasn't really that bad of a strike. It was slightly, well, it was slightly there, slightly out of the toe, but only about a few millimeters. But those numbers are something that I wish I could hit every single time. Oh my God. I just club twirled because of how good that was. That is, it's gone a long way. It's gone a really long way. That was so out of the middle. Carrying 207, which is pretty much what I'd expect with these lofts and slightly low spin. But oh, just, there is something about the ZX range, something special. Like, I don't know what you guys think of these. Let me know down in the comments because they are just, there's something else. They really are. If you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with me oogling over all of these clubs. We've got a few more things coming soon. And I'm going to take you to the States as well and show you what I'm up to. Yeah, that's a weird one, that one. That wasn't very good. You can see a little bit over the top, so I'd probably miss a green. But there is a slight bit of vibration that I am getting um, on the butt end of the club. So where well, the pure frame says to stop vibrations, I can feel it a little bit. I don't know if it's just the shaft not being right for the way in which I transition in the downswing. I mean, it doesn't put me off. I think it's more that the ZX7s aren't that forgiving. Despite them not being a blade of sorts, I think they give quite a lot of feedback. So when I'm saying they're not forgiving, I more mean that it's still gonna get, that went very well there, 204 yards carry, but I think it's gonna tell you where you hit it across the club face and I hit it all over the place. So it's a bit mean. Oh, it was good. I just left the face open slightly. Well, that was just a lovely feel to it as well. That sweet spot is something that I wish I could hit every single time, don't we all? In terms of ranking these with other brands, I think these are firmly at the top with Mizuno for feel, really are. Oh my God. I don't even feel like I'm playing golf with these things. It's like a different sport. 140 mile an hour ball speed. It's ridiculous. They're not just, they don't just feel good, they go fast. It's just, a, I reckon the dispersion for ZX7s and ball speed will be a lot larger. I reckon it'll be about 10 mile now rather than four or five. That's the shot. That's the shot. I'm done here. I know it's not completely straight, but that was a shot. 139. Look at it. I'm done. These are mine. <laughs> I'll still play one length, but please, Srixen, give me a full set. These are gorgeous. Yeah, you can see ball speed slightly down there and carry slightly down to the counterpart of the ZX5 with spin a little bit higher as well. When I look at the table of all of these, all I can see here is that the ball speed, yeah, it was about 10 mile an hour difference across the face, whereas with the ZX5, it was about five or six. Now, comparing the two, the driver is the ZX5 and the fairway wood is the ZX7, you can see, as I've said, it was funny is that the ZX5 actually launches a little bit higher, but I wouldn't really say anything about that too much. But you can see ball speed slightly higher with the ZX5, spin not actually too much of a difference, and then carry a little bit shorter. So what I can see here, and what I've been talking about with the ZX5 and the ZX7s is they are 
incredible clubs, but they are very, very close together now in terms of what they offer. Don't know which one I choose. That's why I think with the combo set with Strixon this year, it's almost a no brainer. Why would you not have the ZX5s in four, five, maybe even six, and then seven, eight, nine pitching wedge, you go with the ZX7 Mach 2s. And then if you want something that's more of a blade light, they do have another option this year as well, Z Forged. Let me know what you guys think, because these are special. The ZX7, ZX5, the whole ZX range is really special. And I think a lot of golf club members, a lot of people who are in the handy have of 20 and below, yes, 20, could benefit from trying these out because, I mean, see for yourself, they feel incredible. They really do. I've taken them outside. I've taken them here at Gray's Golf. Let me know. That's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.